Do you dare free from the chains? Today, we continue down the path with the card of the devil. It represents enslavement and temptation. Welcome to today's episode. Let's get into it. In the previous episode, we discussed the card of temperance. It represents moderation, healing, and angelic guidance. You can go check out this episode if you haven't done so yet, or if you need a refresher before diving into today's episode. Today, we continue down the path with the card of the devil, marked as the number 15 in the tarot deck. It represents enslavement and temptation. The card of the devil represents greed, temptation, and materialism. It brings to light destructive patterns around sex, food, substance abuse, relationships, and overall negative thinking. This card lets us know there are hidden forces wanting to keep us in the material pleasures and for us to forget about our spiritual selves. These destructive patterns and behaviors deplete us from our divine light, keeping us in the dark. The Devil card falls between the card of temperance and the tower card. If the lessons of the temperance card are not learned, we fall from grace into the arms of the devil. However, the lessons the devil card brings to us can be profound and life-changing. We can climb out of the darkness with a new way of life. When the devil card comes up for us, it is an invitation to shine a light on our destructive behaviors and patterns. It asks us to analyze the root cause of our addictions and behaviors in order to be able to heal and break free from the chains. In relationships, the double card brings a warning. It is most likely the relationship is not worth saving as it's become too toxic and hurtful. It is best to walk away regardless of the temptation we may feel to stay. In career and money, the devil card asks us to reevaluate how much of our power we are surrendering. Are we sacrificing our soul for a job we hate? When we analyze the devil card, we can see a creature with horns and wings. It sits above two figures in a dark and unknown place. These human figures are chained and find themselves enslaved and corrupted. They are becoming demons. However, when we look closely, we can see the chains around their necks are loose. And they can easily walk away if they wished. The devil figure holds a torch towards the floor. As he is purposely trying to keep the light from illuminating up the room wanting to keep the knowledge and power to himself. The element of the double card is Earth, and its ruling planet is Saturn. Its astrological sign is Capricorn, known for material needs. Every card in the tarot has a higher and lower energy. The lower energy can be read by the cards that are next to each other in the read. Or it can also be read as low energy when the cards or the card come up in reverse. When in reverse, this is one of the few cards whose meaning becomes more hopeful. It is time to bring awareness to what is keeping us trapped and begin to seek the light. It lets us know our situation is not quite as drastic as we may think. Now is the perfect time to make a move. In conclusion, when the devil card comes up for us, it is an invitation to break from destructive patterns and relationships. It is a warning sign to walk away from temptations that are hurtful to our higher self. Do you dare break free from the chains? In the next episode, we will discuss the tower card. Marked as the number 16 in the tarot deck, it represents destruction and enlightenment. I hope you enjoyed today's episode here at the Cosmic Juniper. To receive future notifications on new episodes, don't forget to follow, like, and comment. And remember, you are a beautiful being of light, having a human experience. 
Be gentle with yourself and keep hydrated. Until next time, seekers and dreamers.